Now, I don't want to hear any more of this doom and gloom. It's the worst thing ever. It's the apocalypse. It's the end of the world bullcrap, okay? I'm done with it. Now, I do understand, though, that this is a bad situation. I personally know someone who I've known my entire life who is dying from this virus. So please say a prayer if you can for this person. There is a time to mourn and a time for tears. But also, even in catastrophes, there is a time to heal. And as a matter of fact, we can use this time right now to get a jump start on those essential lifestyle changes that we should hopefully keep even after this is all said and done because like everything else, this will pass. The key is not to do things that reflect what you're feeling, but to transform it. Here's seven of them. Dress well. Dressing well will totally change your attitude. And depending on how you dress, it can make you feel confident, in command, in control. Or you know what? It can also make you feel really chill, really relaxed, and really calm. And you know what? Take advantage of that, especially in times like this. If it's Gurkha trousers, wear them. If it's a polo shirt, wear it. If it's a blazer or safari jacket, wear it. Dress in a way that not only makes you happy and de-stresses you, also dress in a way that gets the job done. Go outside. Now I know everyone's telling you to stay inside, but the whole point is to be in isolation and seclusion from other people. And what better place to do that than out in the wilderness, in a forest, in a field, and go out there. Even if you have to drive over an hour or two, just do it. The fresh air of nature is a much better healer than the stuffy air inside. The air is cleaner, you'll get the exercise that you need, and it will totally calm you down and de-stress you because let's face it, stress is a real killer. Bamboo. Listen to happier music. Music amplifies our emotions and generally now we listen to music that portrays and reflects how we are feeling at that moment and that anything else is, you know, just a mask to hide how we all feel dead inside. But that can't be further from the truth. Music was made not just for happy times, but to lift spirits during bad times. And look, I know it's hard. I'm a metalhead still myself, so I get it. But just try it anyway, because you know what? We shouldn't embrace our loathing in our souls. We should heal it. Eat healthy. Right now, we have to ration our food. And I actually think that's a pretty good thing because most of us tend to overeat, especially in this day and age. So this is actually good practice. And we have to learn to stay healthy by eating healthy and keeping away from snacks. Beans, carrots, potatoes, all these traditional foods are not only healthy, cheap, and don't spoil quickly, but they can be absolutely delicious, especially if you prepare it with traditional recipes. Be productive. Read those books you've always been wanting to read but never found the time to read. Shine your shoes. Learn a new skill by watching a tutorial on YouTube or something. And yeah, in times like these, it's really good to have a good laugh. And the internet's full of stuff like that. But remember to keep it in a balance. Laugh and learn. Or do both. Meditate. Meditate on your life and enjoy the silence. And in my apostolic Christians, this couldn't happen at any better time than Great Lent. But I'm not going to bore all you guys with that. You can DM me on Instagram at Demetrius Levi if you want to talk more of the theological aspects of it. But in the meantime, we can all just meditate on life and enjoy the silence. Because that's not going to last long. Everything's going to be loud again. And bleh. And finally, enjoy and embrace the simple life, as Bilbo Baggins so famously said. It is no bad thing to celebrate a simple life. I try to encourage living the simple life, the European way of life, living like a hobbit, so to speak. And even though that always includes good company, friends, and family, we can forgo those just for a little bit, even though we can still call them and Skype them and tell our loved ones how much we love them. We can forgo that just for a little bit and still live a simple life with the simple things and perfect them. Actually, the three most fundamental things, clothing, shelter, and food. You know, just grab some wine, bourbon, whiskey, brandy even, and just relax and enjoy yourself after a hard day's work. A mug of ale in my hand, putting my feet up on a settle after a hard day's work. What this situation has reminded us of 
is that absolutely nothing is in our control except the way we conduct ourselves in these certain situations. Now there is good, like I said, that came out of this. Families are closer together. People are now more rationing their food and being reminded that this is a gift. All that we have is a gift. We need to stop panicking, stop stocking up on toilet paper because that's not going to save anybody. And we need to stop being reactionary. We don't want to be like all the sheep out there. We need to stay calm, breathe, relax, be a man, take leadership. Men, grab your testes. Women, grab your stress ball. Say it with me. This is life, and this too shall pass. Because as you know, guys, like I always say, this is a group thing, and we are in this together. So, all right, my guys, I'll see all you next week. Adios. Ooh, going old school. And right when everyone got home from... Being safe, of course. <laughs>